Hi guys, today I am going to be making a very special video of beautifying your Sims 3 game. I get questions all the time on my default skin replacements, my default eye replacements, and this video is going to show you guys all that and everything else that I use to make my Sims 3 game look fantastic in the modern age, 12 years after the game has initially released. Now, this will require you to have some mods in your game. If you don't know how to install mods, I highly recommend looking on Mod the Sims. I will leave a link in the top of the description box of how to install mods for your Sims 3 game. It's very simple. It's literally dragging and dropping files in the documents folder the sims 3 super simple if you're looking for gameplay related mods i will leave a card in the top right where i've done a video of my top five favorite mods that are integral to my gameplay so please go and check those out if you want like outside of cast sort of videos because this video is primarily going to take place in cast so before we get into the meat and potatoes of this video i thought i would plug my sims 3 cc finds tumblr i constantly reblog content every single day if you go to the description box there will be a link my sims 3 cc finds tumblr and you can just infinitely scroll through this or i have organized everything really nicely so if you are on a computer you're going to come over here to this little button that says ts3 cc finds you're going to click right on that and look at that everything is really nicely organized and if you are on mobile you can actually click this button right here and it gives you the mobile equivalent so let's say i want female hair so i'll go under the hair and here it is all of the hair that i have found on tumblr thus far will be reblogged and sorted in here now if you've reached the bottom of this and you can't scroll anymore just hit the next button right here and it'll bring you to a new page i have probably over 300 items reblogged on my tumblr right now and i literally just started this like a month and a half ago i am constantly reblogging stuff every single day so definitely go and check that out this is where i get all of like my hair and clothing like not specific pieces but generally this is where i get it but i'll show you my favorites from my tumblr in just a little bit so getting into game now the first mod that i am going to bring up now this is not really anything to do with cast this more so lets you get really really close to your sims so say i'm like here making and manipulating my sims's face if i go in here um i think in base game sims 3 you're only able to get about ear like this is as far as the game will let you zoom in but with this mod by shimrod called zoom in cast camera this will let you go way way in like this is as close as you can get you can get super duper close here in cast and this mod is so helpful so that i can see what i'm putting on my sims face what i'm making their facial features look like and it's just great it's, it's really really great okay now on to my default skin i get questions all the time about this and i use orchard skin orchard skin is by a creator named swirl goodies i actually found out about orchard skin when I was watching Lexa Pixie's Lepacy, if you guys watch her, and I literally would not change this default skin for the world. In the description box, this is going to be the page that the Orchard Skin link will lead you to. So there are three versions here. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so we can see a little bit better. So there's a default replacement version, there's a non-default naturals version, and then there's a non-default unnaturals. So I use the default replacement in my own Sims 3 game. So you're gonna click the download button and it's going to bring you to OneDrive and you're just going to hit this download button and drag and drop that into your Sims 3 documents folder mods. After that, once you come into your game, it's not going to say anything. These are not related to Orchard Skin. This is like a different skin tone that I have, but there's it's not going to show like a little icon. It's not going to say Orchard if you decided to install the default replacements. What a default replacement does is it replaces the base game Sims 3 swatches here. So the Orchard skin is overriding the ea like base game kind of like patchy really gross maxis made one from back in the day and it just updates it and generally makes it look better and yes she has a nose mask on right now so that's why it's 
it's not matching the skin on the other side of the coin if you decide to download the non-default replacements you're going to have extra swatches in your skin tone panel like i do here please remember you can only have one default replacement in your game at a time so be careful installing too many i don't know what happens if you have two default replacements in your game at the same time i think it might just pick whatever one loads the first highly recommend orchard skin it is really beautiful and i love the details like on the collarbones and the hands and stuff like that the knees everything just looks amazing with this skin highly recommend probably will never change from orchard skin so next up i am going to talk about my default eye replacements now i use the big q eyes and they are by burnt waffles i think they are originally in the sims 2 but here they are i'll show you guys a couple of swatches here and there they are so gorgeous these eyes i love how they look like in brown they just add like some dramatic sort of flair to the eyes and i think it's it's so gorgeous highly recommend the big q eyes i get questions about these all the time where i get my default eye replacements from so i guess you guys must like them too if you ask this often <laughs> next on my list i have the monolid so if you don't know what a monolid is it's an eyelid shape that doesn't have a crease and this is common in people that have east asian features but it can also be in like other races of people as well so if you look in comparison here we have this gentleman who has the eyelid crease right and then if i come over here to pauline she does not have the crease on her eyelid and this actually you cannot do in base game sims 3 it's not possible they do not have a default like eye template for monolids like they all all of these eyes in here have the crease now, i had to re-upload this on my tumblr uh because the original poster deleted it but it's it's up there right now if you guys would like to use it now what this is is basically once you install it in your mods folder you're going to go into your looks makeup and then eyeshadow and you're going to have this right here so this is what pauline looks like in base game this is pauline wayne by the way from sunset valley i didn't touch any of her facial features at all this is like what she looks like right out of the gate now, obviously asian people can also have the crease on their eyelid i do know this yes i know this but i don't think it's right that there was never a like template included where they don't have to have the fold in their eyelid if that makes sense anyway long story short you're gonna come in here to your makeup and then you're going to see this one by dolphy sims and now yours probably isn't going to be matched it might look like this it'll probably look something like this what you have to do is you just come in here and just match it so i'm going to go to this top swatch here and i'm going to try and do an exact match on pauline's skin tone if you have ever watched any of my let's plays you know that when i try to do this live it literally takes me about five minutes to find the right skin tone it is so difficult it's like pulling teeth for me i think that's about okay uh so then i'm going to drag this top swatch here down to this bottom swatch and then if you go from far away it looks like pauline has the monolid i really love this i think it is so clever now here is an example on a male sim this is leighton uh sekimoto from sunset valley and he has a different skin tone than pauline but it still works nonetheless and yeah it is both for male and female so this is what leighton looks like in base game sims 3 and this is what he looks like with the monolid adjustment and this really just lets you make asian sims in the sims so like it's kind of sad that the length you have to go to do this literally installing a piece of sims 3 cc in order to give the appearance of the monolid next on the list i have my default eyebrow replacements now for playing the sims 3 for as long as i have i had no idea that default eyebrow replacements were a thing now the default eyebrow replacements function much of the same way that the default skin replacements and default eye replacements that i talked about earlier work so what this will do once you drag and drop it into your mods folder and come into your eyebrows in game you will no longer have the eyebrow that is pictured here they look a lot more natural they look like you can see like the little hairs on them and they make your sims look a lot more realistic the downside is that of course the picture no longer matches what the actual eyebrow looks like but i don't mind it, do it doesn't bother me at all i found in base game sims 3 that i had all these you know ea like maxis eyebrows but i was never using them because they look kind of busted up even the unibrow got a revamp by the way and i think that the unibrow is actually really pretty i like i like the i like the default replacement unibrow it looks so much better than like the 
piece of marker that the base game sims 3 one looks like if you decide to get these make sure that you do not have two default eyebrow replacements in your game at the same time but i really love these and it makes all my eyebrows usable maybe not these ones these ones are a little too thin for my tastes but you get the idea the next thing i have on the list is default clothing replacements now what these are much like the eyebrow the eye and the skin replacements they will replace and override the base game sims 3 clothing now, i currently don't have these in my game just because i play leprosy style and i'm constantly having to remove and add expansion packs in my game depending on the video that i'm creating that day so i can't have them in my game because just like a little side note if you have one of these default clothing replacements but you do not have the expansion pack installed that that piece of clothing is from it'll actually do one of these numbers uh you know the floating body sort of thing in cas because you know you have the default replacement in your mods folder but it's not finding the original mesh source content that it needs to like create the rest of the outfit does that make sense so if you look in base game sims 3 right now you're gonna notice a lot of these low quality texture clothing pieces especially on the early items in the sims 3 the sims 3 base game was notorious for doing this these textures and necklines and everything just like there's no straight lines on this top right everything is is super straggly and just looks really bad and messy well carver sims has gone ahead and done a complete overhaul on all of the clothing from the sims 3 including all the expansion packs so here on the carver sims tumblr which i have linked in the description box below you're going to come over here to defaults and then this is going to bring up all of the default replacements that carver sims has made thus far it looks like they have done some stuff with university life just probably updated the quality of the texture and made it a lot better looking you know not with all those bumpy straggly lines that were there before if you go down to the bottom Bottom of their tumblr and then go to page five i think they have uploaded everything in the order of the expansion pack released so i think that the sims 3 base game would be all the way at the back next up on the list i have default hair replacements now the default hair replacements work much like the default eye replacements and the default skin replacements that we have already covered but these make it so that the base game ea default hair is replaced and updated with like nice new alpha cc so these hairs right here i have this one this bun two different hairs are being replaced by this bun right here uh, i have this hair which is like a bang over the right side of the face and then this like i don't know what the braided braided crown sort of deal and these hairs are all done by a creator named mary jane now she has gone ahead and done some for ambitions i actually am having a really hard time with getting the ambitions ones replaced for some reason it like glitches up the hair and it makes my sims look bald and yes i do have ambitions installed in my game so i, I don't know why it's not quite working with the ambitions hairs but it works fine with the base game sims 3 hairs so that is what i'm going to show you guys today so doing default hair replacements can be a kind of tricky business and let me tell you why so let's say i had two hairs from two different creators that were default replacing this hairstyle af hair dreadlocks right that means that i would have this one for mary jane and then i would have the other creators trying to replace the same exact hair things can get a little bit glitchy when you have two hairs trying to replace the one single hair in the sims 3. what will end up happening is that it'll try to combine them and it'll just look really weird so my advice to you guys if you are trying to default replace your sims 3 hairs my advice is to keep a list of every single hair you have default replaced so i'll go on mary jane's tumblr here and i'll choose the ones that i like that i want to default replace so let's say i want this buzz cut right here well that i am going to take the name of the buzz cut i'm going to go au hair buzz cut right and then i would hit download and obviously drag and drop this into my sims 3 mods folder but then i'm also going to come down here and i'm just going to grab the link to the hair so that i remember which one i have and i'm going to put that right next to buzz cut and boom there we go now i have accounted for that i already have the au hair buzz cut replaced 
So here is another example. So the creator X Firefox Sims did this Dutch braid crown replacement, which I just showed you guys in game here. This is the one that Pauline currently has on her head right now. And because I use this hair right here to replace F hair, Dutch braid crown, blah, 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 blah. I would take the link to this and I've already gone ahead and done it. So here it is. And I just make sure that I account for every single hair that I default replace. And this will usually mitigate the problems that you have when you're default replacing hair you just kind of got to make sure what you already replaced and what you have not replaced and just keep that very clear you can also do this like via a spreadsheet however you guys want to do this i just do it with the sticky notes app on windows so i think that's the best way to do it so please know let's say that you start a brand new sunset valley and in the middle of that brand new sunset valley save you decide hey i want to add some default hair replacements into my game well you should know that when you load back into your game game after adding these default hair replacements you're going to have to bring every single sim that has the default hair which is going to be a lot because it's sunset valley so all this stuff is replacing base game hair right you're gonna have to bring all those sims in cast and just let the game load this brand new default hair replacement and that's just because you added the default hair replacement mid game now let's say you have these default hair replacements already in your game and then you start a brand new save well you're fine because the town generated all those sims with these default hair replacements already on their head the problem arises when you start mid game and then the game can't generate the new hair so just pay mind to that now if the process of default replacing hair seems a little bit too daunting i have an alternative for you buckley who is a sims 3 mod creator went ahead and did a disentangled series basically removing all the accessories off of all of the hairs so for example here if i go into the hair with accessories category and i come down here I know for sure that this hair has an accessory on it. It has this really, really ugly headband. However, Buckley has gone ahead and disentangled, which is the namesake, this headband from this hair. So let me show you guys what this hair looks like without the headband on it. And so I'll come down here to just my regular old hair here, and then I'll look for the hair without the headband. Here it is. So here's the one that Buckley made, and you can kind of tell that the texture on it also changed. I think this one looks so much better, so much more flattering than the Supernatural one. I find that EA hair kind of looks greasy and that Buckley does a really good job at kind of removing the greasiness and of course the accessory as well from the hair. So that is an alternative if you do not want to do default hair replacing, just because I know default hair replacing can kind of be a little bit daunting having to write down everything that you've already replaced. So, you know, just, just food for thought, just food for thought. Next up on the list, I have sliders. Now, sliders could be like a whole other video within itself because there is so much to sliders. But if you don't know what sliders do, they make it so that you can manipulate and kind of change aspects of your sims face that are not readily available to the player so if i were to just go in my clean vanilla sims 3 game i would not have all these options you know if i go into like the global settings i would not have hat move x head width face profile blah blah blah, blah. these are just not tools that are available to the player readily and mods aka sliders allow you to do so i have a sim height slider which is really cool i can have my sims height adjusted they can be super tall they can be super short please be careful with the slider because it does not change the height of animations so if you have like a super tall sim they're still going to hug a regular sim the other sim is just going it's still going to hug them the same way the sim might have their face and your other sims is boobs that's super tall you know just things like that the, the animation height does not change so you got to be a little bit careful i do very minimal sim height adjusting because i just don't want messed up animations <laughs> anyways so i'll show you guys some of the sliders i have by the way i get all of my sliders from one euro mutt they have a master list of all the sliders that you can use coincidingly you got to be careful too because if two sliders are taking up the same place in cast it's going to completely break the slider and it's going to make both sliders unusable so like say uh butt mass and thigh distance were using kind of like the same 
original like tuning file then both thigh distance and butt mass for me would be broken but because i use a uh, one euro mutts masterless none of my sliders conflict with each other and i just am really careful when installing new sliders i don't really have new sliders uh, i just use the ones that i got originally because I'm, I'm really scared of the the conflicting sort of stuff yeah i have a lot of butt sliders okay don't 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 look at it all right all right <laughs> i find that with my sliders i can actually get like a lot of detail of my sim like for example i have an uneven nose width slider so i can adjust like literally one side of the sims's nose how cool is that right once again these are things that are not readily available to a player but you can really get in there and find some amazing things so i, I would highly recommend just going through one euro month's kind of master list of sliders uh, they are they are pretty much all the ones i have in my game i don't really have any specific ones that i can think of off the top of my head besides like the sim height and all that sort of stuff the butt the butt sliders i love a good butt slider okay okay now kind of on to some more like fine tuning sort of things so i get questions all the time about the lipstick and like nose masks that i use now as you can tell i have a bunch of different lipsticks i have like 10 different lipsticks in here but as of recently and i i don't plan to change this for the foreseeable future i have been using this one right here this is by please put name here and this is the addy nose mask so this this makeup set comes with a nose mask i don't use that i just use the mal lipstick not that there's anything wrong with the nose mask i just really am obsessed with this lipstick so much so here is pauline without any lipstick on and then here is what she looks like with the mal lipstick on now oh god i just i don't know what it is it just looks hyper realistic and i just think it looks so gorgeous it gives your sims like a nice just a solid lip with like shine and everything it's just so cute oh my god I, I'm, I'm obsessed i'm actually obsessed and then as far as my favorite nose mask goes this is by the same exact creator and i think i installed this off screen ones and then i went to go and stream for you guys twitch.tv slash a cotton sock by the way every saturday at 7 p.m est and everyone in chat literally we had to take like a moment of silence because this nose mask is revolutionary it matches to your sims skin now it, it's pretty good with like lighter skin tones but if you have like a darker skin sim you can just come in here and use the slider to like kind of manipulate that um but yeah you can get like the tip of the nose you can come in here and get like the sides of the nose the nose itself like this this nose mask there's so much forethought that goes into this it perfectly highlights and shadows the parts of the face that need to be and i feel like this creator seriously has such a good understanding of like shading on a human face and i don't know i just am obsessed with this nose mask and i i used to use all the ones by weren't waffles so as you can see in here i got the sugar nose mask i got toffee nose mask cherry nose mask for blueberry blah, blah 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 but i cannot see myself using a different nose mask than this one and this is once again by the same creator please put name here they have such a good understanding of like makeup and just shadows and highlights on the face and i have to applaud them because they are so fantastic at creating makeup but here it is i love it so much my next item on the list is nails so these nails are by buckley i feel like many of the things in this video have been by buckley but here we are so buckley made these super cute like little tiny french tips but you can also change the color to like a solid one if you want um i don't know i just i just like these there's probably a million different ones out there i've seen people have long nails on their sims just like kind of these short ones but i don't know these ones work well for me and these are what i recommend using and buckley's a really good creator so alrighty so this part of the video I'm going to try and be as thorough as possible because I get questions all the time on what eyelashes I use now I use s club eyelashes with Buckley's fix for said eyelashes now what the hell does that mean so s club is a creator uh they make stuff for sims 4 so if you've ever played sims 4 I'm sure you've seen their stuff before but they were also really infamous in the sims 3 days for making beautiful beautiful eyelashes here are some of the sets i have here i have the 3d set which i feel like are a lot more natural and like you can see the individual hair a lot better but then i also have 
these ones, which I think these ones are a little bit more luxurious, but then they also have some swatches that are like actually really natural ones. So maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. They're both like really nice sets and I have them both for different, for different reasons, for different uses, you know? Anyways, if you have these eyelashes currently in your game and mind you, I use sets N3A and N3A. N1. Those are the two sets I use. What a lot of people don't know, and they will have this gap on their Sims eye for the longest time. I, I did this when I was a kid too, and I have these eyelashes. There, there's probably going to be a gap like this. You see how the bottom of the eyelash is not meeting the lash line. It's because you need this slider. This slider is by S Club, the same creator that makes the eyelashes, and it actually allows you to really get in and kind of move those eyelashes around just to make sure that they fit your sims eye completely you can adjust things like inner eyelash height you can adjust the eyelash top length you can adjust where the top of the eyelash meets the top of the eyelid and things like that you can also adjust the bottom eyelash length so this slider is a must if you have these eyelashes but you do not have this slider please go ahead and get this slider it will make your life so much easier and if you have the slider in your game just go under eyes advanced and then come into the global setting and then it's like halfway through here where the eyelash bottom height eyelash bottom length blah blah blah, blah. and it makes it makes your eyelashes like it, it takes them to the next level so great so fantastic so after you have all three of these items you're probably also going to want buckley's fix for the s club eyelashes and what this does is it makes it so you can't see through the eyelash through the hair so if you kind of look over here i'm gonna get really close in here you can see how the eyelash sticks out through the hair well buckley's fix it makes it so that is completely like incognito i mean look at look at the look at the difference here you can see that you can see the eyelash to the hair here and in this photo it's completely hidden now if you are using all the sets that i use meaning set n3a and sets n1 on Buckley's post, all you are going to install is Design 1. This is what my S Club eyelash folder looks like. So I obviously have N3A and N1, the original S Club eyelashes, the eyelash slider, and then I have just these three files in there from Buckley fixing the eyelashes. That is all you need. Once again, this is what my eyelash folder looks like. So if you want my eyelashes, this is, this is all I got. This is how I fix it. Now, last but not least in Cass, I'm sure as you can tell, I have a Cass background in my game. I get questions about this all the time. These are by Jonin, I think that's how you say it, Jonin Mobile. And there's eight different creative sim backgrounds you can choose from. This one's adorable. How have I never seen this one before? It's so cute. Oh my God, it's like pastel purple. I love it. But I use the black and white one. And I think I also have used this blue one before. Like blue was my favorite color when I was a kid. I think I've also put the pink one. I don't know. I think I've like gone through all the all the motions of using all these different backgrounds. There are like a hundred other cast backgrounds out there. So if you don't like this one or like the different eight different ones that you can get off of that post, then there's a bunch also in the world. Um, just make sure you read the description of the post on how to install them and you'll be set. All right, so I am going to get Pauline pregnant with Gunther's baby. Yes, it's a weird ass combination, but um, that's just what we're gonna do. So let me have her go to the hospital here really quickly so that she can go and give birth. <laughs> I've done a lot of weird couples in The Sims 3. Uh, never have I done Pauline and Gunther. That's just, that's that, that takes the cake for the weirdest. And yes, this does have to do with what I'm about to show you guys. So yes, I'm not just having Gunther and Pauline have a baby baby just because i'm interested to see what their baby would look like but i kind of am interested in seeing what their baby will look oh, like to be funny. honest oh look at that we also have a doppelganger pauline wayne in town uh so this baby's a daredevil and workaholic we're gonna name him dave all right so here oh, we have funny. baby dave the product of both gunther and pauline and as you can see baby dave actually has like little wispies for hair now this is a very prolific mod if you have ever played the sims 3 before you probably have seen this mod before 
but this does give your tiny little baby genetic hair meaning that the hair on dave's head right now is telling of what hair color he inherited in base game sims 3 babies are by default they are bald they do not have any hair on their head but i like this mod a lot because it can actually show what my little baby is gonna end up having uh as far as hair color goes now this also has to do with the clothes or lack thereof that dave is wearing he obviously is like a little burrito baby there's actually like a 50 50 chance or something like that of dave getting the little sleeper onesie thingy that i have installed also linked in the description box below don't worry so if i take dave here in cast via and ross i'm actually able to change him from these little sleeper footy pajamas and i know you can't see him it's hard to see i know i know but i can change the color here I can, I can change what they look like if I wanted to give him like green pajamas and I can also make him go back into being a little burrito baby there are like hundreds and hundreds of sleeper footies I think that's what they're called out on the internet not just from this crater but there's like ones I've seen with Pokemon on them and all that sort of stuff um on them so just depends what you want in your game i just like the really simple like onesie sort of deal and like i said it's not always like surefire that they will get the sleeper footies it's just like a chance sometimes they're burritos sometimes they're sleeper footy babies i'm actually dying to know what dave will look like when he ages up to young adult i need to see what pauline and, and gunther's baby would look like like i have such a morbid curiosity right now i think he's gonna probably be really good looking if i had a guess let's see here he is uh he's okay yeah he looks a lot like his mom i was kind of expecting more to be honest with you <laughs> so the last thing that i want to bring up and we're gonna have to look at the sky for this is my lighting mod so i've talked about this before on end i use the frozen lighting mod by burnt waffles this is by far like the most beautiful lighting mod i have ever used at first i was very hesitant to use it because i was like i don't want my skies to look all cartoony i don't want them to look like frozen like a disney movie but now that i have this lighting mod in my game i would literally not have it any other way and this lighting mod also includes a water mod so the reflections of your water uh, of the sky are gorgeous as well it completely gets overhauled so if you have the lighting mod you will also have the water mod so I highly recommend the frozen lighting mod by burnt waffles it has given me some of my most beautiful sunrises and sunsets i can include a couple of photos here Anyways, guys, I am going to end this video right here. My beautifying The Sims 3. This game can look absolutely stunning if you just go and give it a little bit of TLC, some things here and there that you gotta change. If you are interested in how to optimize your game to run on your computer, I also have a whole other 45 minute, like 10 step fix video. I do so many things in that video. I will put a card in the top right. I will continue to make these like educational sort of videos because I, I think The Sims 3 is the best game and I want people to play it and be able to play it and be able to appreciate it for what it is because it is such a fantastic work of art. <laughs> work of art? I don't know what I was getting at there. Anyways guys, if you would like to see any other videos from me, let me know in the comment section below what you think I should make next and I will catch you guys all in the next one. Peace out guys.